We've all been told as parents that it's important our kids wear helmets when playing certain sports. But there's new evidence tonight that helmets, even state-of-the-art ones, do not prevent concussions. And they may actually give players a false sense of security. As Francis Silvaggio reports, the real way to keep kids safe is to change the way they play. Like warriors heading into battle, hockey players suit up, prepared to go to war. I like body checking. I think it's a key component of the game. As a parent, it's sometimes hard to watch, but there has always been a comfort in trusting the helmets and equipment designed to protect our little gladiators. I think that they do. I mean, if you weren't wearing a helmet, you'd obviously be concussed. While that may be true, researchers now say there are no guarantees you won't get a concussion even if you're wearing the most advanced helmet. Helmets and mouth guards are not designed principally to prevent concussion and they don't because you've got a soft brain inside a hard skull. Football helmets are some of the most padded in sports and yet this animation clearly shows how ineffective they are in stopping the brain from bouncing around inside the skull after a hit. The technology in hockey helmets is improving, but equipment experts say they're still really only effective for one purpose. Helmets are made for lacer skull fractures and lacerations, so that's that's and they're really good at protecting that nowadays. In fact, concussion experts suggest protective helmets may actually be doing more harm than good. Some people think if you pat it more, people just hit harder and the brain's going to move in the skull even more. So, you know, it could be that helmets are not helping the case in terms of concussion. Now go back, all the way back. Now no one is saying players should ditch the equipment, but rather that they should rely less on gear and more on policy to prevent concussions from happening in the first place. On and off the ice, it's a finding that scores with more and more people every day. We have to protect these kids. I mean, the majority of these kids will not make it to the NHL, will not play in the, you know, the dub, anything like that. So I think really what you need to do is you need to protect them. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.